Who are you? I'm human, nostalgic. <laughs> You're both pretty ugly to me. That's not very nice. Yeah, us monsters have feelings too, you know. Hello and welcome back to part 3 to this Goosebumps Horror Town. Return to Horrorland, the Halloween event of 2022. Grim here again, as usual. And uh, this is going to be a long one, so why don't we just dive into some of the stuff, see some artwork by our, our community friend, Playboy Vampire, and uh, go from there. So first things first, let's go ahead and show off the art. First, let's show off this one. This was the one that I did for the beginning bit. It's quite fun indeed with the whole, you know, two different wars talking to one another. But uh, afterwards, he also ended up buying the Haunted Halloween pack. So he ended up getting himself uh, drawing his version of the, uh, the gummy bears, which is cute. And of course, you know, of course, he, she brings his, the, you know, Holly, Jolly, you know, who in there. Of course, Slappy is just like, nah, don't do that. Then we have a picture of um, Jonathan Chiller, a uh, horror, and his OC horror. Um, I'm trying to think what her name was, but it's interesting. She, he drew another one of her over here, which is cute. You gotta love that. There's another um, comic fun one with... Um, our friend Lizzie, who is uh, trying to debate the fact that she bought a lot of stuff, like not just a shirt. And uh, my god, that, that 47 bucks for all that stuff. I mean, I guess it's cheaper than going to Disneyland. So at least they got that. Then um, there's a picture of um, an archive, an avatar picture, I guess, just to kind of show off if this, if this were to have a title card or art. This is what it probably would look like, which is kind of cool. And, uh, if you remember last time, my last video, I mentioned something with Carly Beth. Well, uh, here she is with her cute little, uh, b uh, thing here. And, um, of course the mask is not happy. What I love about this is that you get the little gummy bears there. And, um, <clears throat> if you look very closely with the duck face, uh, that's a meme for Delta Room, if you know what it is. And, um, if you don't know the context behind this of why she's dressed like this, here you go. Get the duck one, Curly <laughs> I love that. Yeah, it's a fun little clip near the second part. So yeah, she ended up wearing the duck costume from before, but uh, anyways. So, let's go ahead and talk about the monsters this time around. So, let's go ahead and um, show off this, the cage scene here. I mean, I probably showed this before, but I might as well go ahead and show it again. So, let's go ahead and talk. So first things first is the three-headed snake, Cobra. Um, I'm not sure what his proper name is, but that's what it's calling it. Then we have the Bone Vulture, which is this here. And the last guy is simply called Beast. So there's no real name with it. I, I called it a, a, a spider monkey, but so that's probably not the right case. But hey, that's what I think of it as, so that's what it is, dang it. So, I digress. Anywho, let's go ahead and... Uh, Dive into the game, and uh, this is taking place uh, right where we left off, which was back on the 22nd of October. Right, some time has passed, and we finally should, hopefully, have this done. So, Mortman's done our thing. Thank you very much, Mr. Mortman. Uh, I feel like I should probably have you do that again. Can I click on him? Thank you. Let's do that. So, now, we only need one more. And it just so happens, I have it just ready. So let's get it from the tent and see where the story leads us, shall we? See, I told you, those bats weren't acting normally. Oh, you just spooked them, that's all. Aw, oh, they were just bats. I thought it was kind of fun. That's because they weren't attacking you. Not so fun now, is it, Lucy? Now Eric can get his revenge on you. Come on, let's keep going. I want to see what else we find. Sorry about him. Dustin's kind of thick, but he means well. I'm Lucy, by the way. 
And this is my friend Eric. Ah, speak of the devil. I'm Lizzie. Nice to meet you. Anyways, let's follow Dustin. It'll be best if we don't leave him alone. Yeah, knowing that kid, he probably is going to hurt himself or do something dumb. I was about to say how much uh, dingings I was getting. Hmm. All right, whatever, continue. Ooh, yes. yes. Everything's, Everything's going, going so well. well. The, the children, children are going deeper and deeper into the land of horror. And, and they, they have, have no idea, idea that they, they can find evil in the most innocent places. places. All created by a madman who was uh, forced not to play with kids, or I don't know. I'm assuming Cheller is the one who ended up making it, right? Place horror stands in, takes pictures, and obtain horrorland signs or the no pinching, please. Right? Where do I get that, by the way? Not. Oh, I have to have people do that. <laughs> I'm lame. I'm not doing that. Pfft. As if I'm gonna... <gasps> 57? Oh, boy. Man, so close. I'm almost done. I, I can't even believe that I was gone that far. It took too long. It took years. But we're finally getting closer. Gonna get 60 and be maxed again. And we won't see any more of that pop-up of being like, Hey, congratulations, you won something. And the something is nothing. Because that's what I say. Mmm. Right, sorry, I'm just distracted because I want to collect all the all the goodies and the cash and whatnot. And uh, speaking of, Slappy is done playing his games, which uh, now he's going to go back and do again. Good, good, good on you. Uh, radio. So, I think Dustin's available, is he? No, he's not. Not yet. He will be, though. I just need to get me that, uh, uh, this. There we go. So, we just need a good, um, place for this to kind of... Yeah, you know, we'll just do that for now. Yeah, we'll just move those. We'll put them away later on. Don't worry. So, let's just... Yeah, okay. There you go. Right. So, you're all good. Good and golden. Oh, yeah, I'll deal with you later, floaty. <laughs> Don't you worry. I'll get you later. Not now, but later. Click on Dustin's house. Good. Now, let's do the take the pictures for eight hours. Oh, did he did he already go there or like what's going on? Why why is the camera What's going on with the camera? I'm not touching anything. Um Okay, well, let's let's see where where, where this thing goes. I'm curious. Uh Okay. That that this this is fun. <laughs> oh, it stopped. Okay, cool. That was fun. Um so, oh, okay, so she disappeared over there. Um, I guess the AI just decided to go that way. And uh, let me guess, are you slowly walking there? Or where where did Dustin go? Dustin, where you be? You were just there a moment ago. Did you, did you really not go there just yet? I want to see the animation. Or did you actually go fast? Let's see, I don't see any animation character just yet. Oh, of course, he's just slowly walking his way there. I am not surprised. You know, Lizzie just goes ahead and speeds Flash style. And everyone else, you know, Lucy and Dustin just takes their sweet time, you know. It's not like I have anything here. It's not like I want to kill time or anything. All right. All right. Give me a sec. Uh, hold on. How far are you from? All right. Give me a sec. This is going to be a minute or so. God, Dustin. Took you long enough, Slowpoke. Come on. Get get going. Go take a picture. Yes. There. There you go. There we go. So. Yeah. So she's taking the picture. 
And then he's just wiggling around for some reason. It's almost like his head is stuck. You know, I get the I get the fun part of this, but it's like I don't know what's going on here. This is weird. I don't I don't like it. I don't like his wiggling. Let's just see what happens if I were to disappear and then kind of go back there when the stuff is low. I'm curious if we actually get to see the animations per se. You know what I mean? Like, let's see. Yeah, so that's what I figured. So they basically layered the thing on top of the other one just to get the effect of what we wanted to see with dust in there. And I believe I clicked on, yeah, so one of the things does give me the no pinching sign, so that should be fine and dandy. So let's see, we did the, I think, yeah, so this is part five now, I think, right? Yeah, it should be. We're not, we're not finished just yet, but, uh, oh, I was about to say, did I clear land? I don't think I did. Yeah, so we've unlocked new land over there. Fun. All right, well. I guess uh, that will end it for now. I guess we'll continue off and, um, you know, still, things are going on. Still need this, though. Everything else I got, so. No. Yay there. You know, I'm just putting Sarah Quinn on this sign here to give me what I need, which is great, because now I have, you know, a sign and whatnot. But um, the reason I'm doing this is because I remember looking at these items like for example the floaties right like these things here all right the, these things it's funny that i come across youtube videos talking about oh here's spirit halloween and then i look and go oh look it's the floaty thing <laughs> from the game i saw this giant spider it was on top of the building near my place fun they took things from real life I thought that was interesting, but I've probably mentioned that before in the past, but if not, well, it's here now. Again, fun facts. Well, let's get the sign here. All right, cool. Now let's go over there. I mean, we could either get it from Quinn or we can just get it from the, the store place, which is where I'm going to go because that's just what I do. I do, baby. There you go. So we got everything done. So now I just click on this and we should be good, I think. Hold on. Hey, what'd you take that picture for? There. You told me to. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I should have probably clicked on that first before the other thing, but you probably read it. I slowed it down. Oh, boy. But didn't you see I was stuck? I did. I swear, there was something off about those stand-ins. As soon as I put my head through them, they shrank and caught hold of me. Turn you into the stand. And so you see, our dearest viewership, how hollow can turn to haunted in mere instant. Yay! I also just realized Dustin is now stuck with, um, you know who. We are now entering straight into the heart of the attraction park. The gate is no longer visible from here. My oh my. What can we possibly find? Maybe if we go deep enough, we'll find the Hall of Horrors. Guys, I really don't like this place. I just, uh, maybe we should just go. Yeah, she'll listen to Eric. He was right the first time. No, we don't have enough material on tape yet. And people have to know what this place is really about. Wow, that's a total shift change. Before it was like, no, I don't want to go. And now it's just like, nah, we need to do this. Uh, guys, what's that place full of vultures over there? Are... are those bones? They're just elephant bones, don't worry. Alright, place vulture beach... Get out, vultures, and obtain horror t-shirts, which I'm trying to think who gives me that. But, eh, whatever. Also, I think they just jumped the price on this. Because I don't think it was this high before. Hmm. Oh well. And we're all done. We got everything now. Yay. Cool. Alright. So now let's do the get out, vultures. 
But let me just try to get a good pit. Yeah, there you go. All right, cool. So now let's do get out vultures with these two. All right, and it gives us a shirt. That's cool. Get out vultures. All right, you guys do that. You guys go ahead. Let's see, see, this is what I'm talking about, Dustin. You're supposed to run like this. Although, you know, her walk cycle looks very wonky. But, um, oh yeah, don't don't go through this. Yeah, just go through the walls. That's fine. All right, that's cool. Um, what the? Okay, well, that's obviously birds or the bats or something that they had before. Except, what, is Justin stuck or something? Or, like, what what's going on here? I don't know, but, uh. Looks like he's having fun. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just saying that he has fun because it looks like it to me. But, um, nah. Anyways, there you go. There's that. All right. Now I just realized I forgot to show you about our, our, scene, our, our spider monkey friend. The monster. We saw him before, but uh, let's see him again. And, um... He's the only one that seems to be working. I'm going to try the other ones again after the fact just to see if they actually fixed it. They may have. I don't know, so sure. But uh, let's see our good old monkey friend. All right, let's see how this turns out. All right, cool. Now let's just click on you. There you go. Go scare the doggy. Oh, no, okay, don't scare the doggy. Scare this guy. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I was about to say scare the beast. Yeah, scare the beast. Show him who's boss. What is this thing, anyways? I'm just calling it... <laughs> I'm calling it a, sp a spider monkey monster. Because that's what it looks like to me. It looks like a, like some sort of primate, but also fuzzy like a spider. If that makes sense. I mean, he has... Well, technically, he's not really a spider because he doesn't have... If he had six other arms with... Or if he had six arms and a legs, and then I would say, yeah, then he's a spider monkey. But no, it's just weird monster thing i wonder where they got the inspiration from to design this thing because i don't think it was from the books described as oh uh, yes it's an orange thing with weird monster face <laughs> because you know they need to have some sort of reference to play around with right the vultures i think looks kind of cool especially and then the three-headed uh you know cobra i mean that's yeah that's okay <laughs> it's not uh it's not too um drastic mind you but um you know, it's not the worst. All right, goodbye, monkey friend. Nice seeing you. Yeah, and I didn't get anything as I suspected. Right, so we'll try it again just to see with everybody there, just to see if uh, everything's good and dandy. If it is, I'll show it off. If not, then uh, you'll know that it's broken. Uh, you know, I've, just for the laws, I'll probably just show it anyways because of the brokenness. I also love that this is the only NPC, which is Mrs. Mars Cat over here. Good old Garfield. Keep on calling him Garfield, but it's Mr. M Muffin, I think. Muffin or Mitten? No, I don't know. It's It starts with an M. I think it's Mr. Muffins. Because <laughs> Mitten, I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. I don't know nothing. Thank you, Mrs. Mar. Speaking of, give me the t-shirts I need. What do you need to make them, by the way? Oh, yeah, sure. Why not? Just do that. And, uh, you know, while we're at it, just kind of have him do teeth again and turn this off. Yep. And, uh, go from there. Turn this on just because. And just making sure. Why is it off? Stay on. I don't want you to keep on telling me that, uh, Oh, please buy this for millions of dollars. Like, hold on. Good, that's what I want you to do. I don't want you to be like, oh, let me just spend it already. You know, naughty, naughty game. I still need to get this, by the way. This is like the thing I really need to focus my attention on, but I'm being kind of, you know, cautious with that. I could make it. If I want to, fine. I'll get Santa Claus to do something. I mean, it's Chris, but they call him Claus. I don't know why. He's not really Santa Claus. I mean, okay, well, to be fair, 
Maybe Santa was a, a sad old man. I kind of found out the reference to him, by the way. It's supposed to be, like, what looks like the guy from, um, Scheinfeld or something. Like, the actual actor and whatnot. But, um, yeah. I mean, he came, he came in this Christmas house, so... I don't know. He must really love the holiday. Either that or he got a really good discount on that thing, because... Who boy. Christmas all year round, man. All right, play bass. Good. Now, I'm not sure who else can do that stuff for me, but I'll probably do that on my off time. Anywho, yeah, that's it for now. So, fun things indeed. Slowly but surely, I'll take my time because, again, 28 days, about a, about a week now. So, I mean, we have until the 20th, so really lots of time to deal with this. So, lots of time. Just taking it easy. Isn't that right, horror friend? Look at that happy face. Right. I learned from last time. I'm going to click on you first. And then I'll click on the thing. So let's see if we can get this to work. There we go. Kind of glitched, but it worked. Right. Now that you guys are done. Now... We're going to go and get the last of the t-shirts. Here we go. Let's get this done. Did it... Do I have to touch it again? I I have to touch the screen again. Okay. Up. Oh, nope. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Took a while. Did you guys see that? Those chains hanging from the wooden stakes just spring to life and bound me. I'm sorry, but what kind of Hellraiser th th shenanigans is this? Yes, and I'm sure if we hadn't escaped, those vultures would have eaten us alive. Yes, but wasn't that a fun experience? I bet you enjoyed it. Look at that smile. Okay, that settles it. I'm out! Eric, you should have been out before you even stepped in. You, you had this experience before. Remember Jonathan Chiller? Remember the joke? Two kids are gonna die tonight? Out of here. This tape's just not worth it. Yay. Now, I do not know if this is the last quest or if there's one more. I haven't been counting, so let's find out. What happens next? Are you sure you want to leave, kids? We haven't finished a report. Yes, we haven't done the funny animals yet. Yes, we are sure. Didn't you see what just happened to Dustin and Lizzie? Okay, calm down, little girl. We're here to protect you, remember? Let's go. The exit is that way. Yes, yeah, right near the gift shop. <laughs> uh. Um, no. I'm pretty sure the exit's that way. Yes, uh, but, um, there's a shortcut through those cages. Come on, it's the quickest way out. Okay, let me just say this right now. We all know what he's doing, and we all know why. But I need to point this out for logic's sake, because the kids don't know what's going on. How do you know this if you have never been to Horrorland before, huh? <laughs> this should be a red flag right away, going, huh, how do you know all this? So we're not done yet. Okay, cool. Horrorland plushies, look at this cutie guy, squeaky squeak, the caramel head, taking, um, taking the shrunken head and just putting it in caramel mmm good of course play the cage scene which uh we're gonna do because all done so let's see is all glitched still let's find out no oh my god they were they're working oh <laughs> hallelujah the guys are working now they're not glitched oh that is that is beautiful thank god i'm so glad to see this is the case Oh my god, look at them. Look at them. They're so proper now. They're actually working like they were supposed to. And not the glitchy mess that they were. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at these two. Look at them. They're so majestic. The way they move. Even the, the vulture. A little bit kind of wonky there. But, you know, a oh, thousand times better than what he was before. Oh man, they did fix it. Oh, that's good. It's not just big guy who is the only one who is working. That's that's great. I'm glad to see. 
really, I am happy to see that these guys are working now. That's great. Because, again, could have been worse. <laughs> could have been like what it was last time. But, yeah, fun animals. <laughs> Look at the funny animals. <laughs> They're just saying hello. All in Horrorland. For the Horror Town experience. Yippee! <laughs> okay. So, we just need caramel heads, which I believe someone does drop me it. I just can't for the life of me remember who does. I think it's Theo. No, it's Theo and also... Yeah, give me a sec. It's also Lucy. Lucy does that for me. For some reason, she gives me head. <laughs> it sounded wrong, but, you know, the, the, the head on the stick. There you go. <laughs> Mm, yes, uh, that's, this is exactly what I meant. So where's the flying ball? There you are. Do you also give me it? Let me find out. Yes, you do. Yes, you did. You did for me. Yeah, thank you. I just need plushies, which unfortunately I can only do with, uh, you know, who? Our girl. Our main, our main girl. My man, oh yeah, she's stuck, by the way, with with uh, Dustin, so maybe let's just get them. Oh. Oh. It's just her. Since what? Since when? I thought they dropped the shirt. Oh, no. Well, I guess they changed it. Yeah, they must have changed it last minute just to kind of fit the economy thing. So that sucks. Oh, I guess, sorry, Dustin. I guess you're stuck there now. I don't know. What what am I doing? There you go. The, oh, he gives me it by himself now. Oh, okay. So they changed it slightly. All right. That's all right. That's fine. That's that's perfectly fine. Whatever. That's perfectly fine. I thought it was going to be worse, but no, it's not. I don't need the shirts, thank you very much. Oh, ew, cockroaches and the blobs give you a caramel head. I guess they're trading it. You know what? This is like trading this stuff just to get the items for some reason. Also, don't ask why you're getting, you know, the, the, you know, trading stuff in for this. I don't even know what, what the monster blob's supposed to be exactly. Like, what is that? No, like, really, what is that supposed to be? Is that a melted... Like, a melted horror? Is that just... I, I... Maybe it's from the story, and I can't recall. Maybe. I, I don't know anymore. But, you know, now that I'm on the subject... Can we not... Can we can we have a horror doll, please? That would be great. I would love to have a Horrorland doll. You know, just like, you know, like a plushie or something. Or even an action figure. You know what? They used to actually were about to give us that. But that never happened. So, uh, I guess, yeah, that did all the caramel heads, so I didn't need any more. But I do need plushies, though. <sighs> am I making them right now? I think I am. Give me a sec. Let me go back to the heart. By the way, yeah, look, it's a it's a nice... It's a, it's a lovely heart shape. <laughs> uh, that's where... That's where Sparkles used to live. In this spot... And that was where the uh, HTV was used to be. But you didn't know that, did you? The more you know. Yeah, I am. Okay, cool. So I just need people just to give me some yo-yos. Because I need them for some reason. Because I like to have them on, on standby. Because you never know when you need a yo-yo. Do, do Parker... Do, do, does Sunny give me yo-yo? No, you don't give me yo-yo. Who gives me yo-yos? I know, I know D Dustin does, but I don't need, he's busy with something. I need someone else. Eric, do you give me yo-yos? Tell me you can give me yo-yos. You don't give me yo-yos. Does a building give me yo-yos? Come on, a building has to give me, yes, it does, a toy store. All right, I got the yo-yos. I don't need, I don't need people to give me yo-yos anymore. I just need to turn the, I have to turn the, the, the thing on. Come on, load. Load. I need my yo-yos. Load. I honestly don't need my little yo-yos, but I... You know what I mean. I like to archive stuff or collect things. How much do I need? Uh, Still more plushies. So might as well give me stuff. Come on, load. Where's the toy store? Oh, there it is. 
Yes, give me yo-yos. Makes sense to get yo-yos from Toy Store. Perfect. And, um... Yeah, I'll, I'll still have that on for a little bit. Right, so I think that's about it. Uh, should be good. And, um, I, I know what's gonna happen in the last quest. Because uh, I've been seeing people having problems with this certain quest line. And hopefully they can fix this bug. But, uh, yeah, you know, like, this game's ever-changing. So, uh... Who knows? Things can happen within the next few days. By the way, we're not even done a week and we're almost done this. It's so sad that it's so short, but in part three, you're just gonna go zoom on by. Man, I hope this video is not long. 27 days. Man, the music is loud. I have to say that. Alright, so this is gonna be in a small progression, in a sense, but if I'm not mistaken, I think I might have everybody doing it. That I think about, because Dustin drops me one. Yep. And, um, then I would go here. So that drops me another. And I think we have our homegirl, Lizzie, who drops us that. So then we get to finish the story off. Well, I say finish, but I feel like we won't be able to, and I will tell you why in a moment. But I also am going to try something else, which is uh, scare Lizzie again, because I want to see if they fixed the animation or if it is kind of broken. So uh, let's see what happens, you know. You know, ignore that. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen like that. All right, here we go. I told you the exit was the other way. Oops, my mistake, I guess. <laughs> oh, you silly goof! Gosh, did you see those monsters? I haven't seen anything like that before. Well, at least we got these awesome caramel candies. Hang on a minute, are these heads? Caramel heads, that and plushies. <laughs> Yay, we did it. So I believe this is the last one. And if I'm not mistaken, there's going to be a problem with this, and I'll show you why. And cut! Excellent job, everyone. We're done. Chiller, you can come out now. <gasps> it's Chiller! Oh, man. I, I knew it. I knew it. We, we could not miss Chiller. Come on, man. I need, I need, to, I need that voice back in my life. You mean THE Jonathan Chiller from Chiller's House? Wow, what an honor. Oh, hi there again, little fellows. And thank you for starring in my amazing TV commercial. I didn't want to bother hiring that weird fair day guy. So I decided to hire these weirdos off the streets. It makes life so much better. <laughs> oh, God. Man, I miss you so much. Why aren't you doing anything in this event? Who's this dude? I'm glad continuity is actually here because Dustin didn't meet Chiller. That would be Lucy and Eric. So if they actually tell him who he is, I'll be happy. This is the founder of Horrorland. And what do you mean, TV commercial? Were the strains in this with you? And furthermore, does that mean that Ch Ch uh, Chiller went to Slappy to have him contact with... the? Like, oh, I guess that makes sense because Slappy and Chiller were a thing in in the book cover, at least. And yeah, okay, there you go. Continuity. Who's the owner of um uh, of Horrorland? Is it some like is it Mr. Storm? Is it some rando that they've mentioned offhand in the Horrorland series? No, it's none of them. It's Jonathan Chiller. Boom, mind blown. See, Margo, I told you they wouldn't take him well. So we'll get the gifts before they get too upset. At least they don't seem too bad of people. Like, in the books, they were a little bit more, you know, dinky. At least here, they're kind of like, at least feeling some sort of like, you know, they care somewhat. Alright, so traumatic mementos costume, spooky treats, which is fine. Ah, here it is. Plays Graveyard Gift Shop. Now then, there is a problem with this. Before, in other 
tasks back in the past. If you were to put this down, this prize, normally what was supposed to happen is it goes, ah, you did it, congratulations, it's down. So if it's already down, it would recognize it. But for some reason, it doesn't recognize it. So people who have already unlocked this prize, because it's not that hard to get, like I said in my Crafting 101, for some reason, it doesn't work. At first, it was the one person who said it, but then I saw multiple people doing it. So there's a good chance that this bug is happening everywhere. So, oops. Again. <laughs> I feel bad, because this whole event is just, like, glitch land, if anything. But... It's, it's an easy fix. They probably just go in there and make sure they edit it so that it's it recognizes it. I'm not sure what exactly. Must, it might be as simple as they misspelled something and the AI doesn't recognize it because it's looking for something that's not there. You know, simple things like that. It happens. So, you know, give it time. We we have, like, look, 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 look how much time we got. We got so much time. So, we're near the end of the event, like, this update, this story. So... You know, a little bit waiting is not going to hurt us at all, right? Yeah, okay. So, g give them a break. <laughs> right, so, anyways. You know, I could summon him. Hmm, but I really wanted to summon... I really wanted to summon these little guys. No, not that. Come on, can I grab it? There you go. I want to summon these little guys again. Though, now that I think about it, you know what we should do? We should summon all the Halloween things. Yeah, you know what? We should do that. It's in honor of the fact that this is spooky month, let's summon all the monster stuff. So let's do that. But first things first. You are so good, you deserve a plushie. Here you go. Go say hi to your new owner. Oh look, it worked! It's It finally did something proper. Though, for some reason the monster... Oh dear. Um... Oh boy. <laughs> um, so, it wasn't like the egg monster. Okay, you know what, I think, I think we need to do the egg monster. The egg monster worked fine. It was fun summoning this little guy. You probably do it in Christmas time again, so you know, back you go. But I think we need to bring out the big boy, the one and only. The, you know what I'm talking about. Let's bring him down. There he is, the one true egg monster. Here we go. Let's bring him down. Come on down. Come on down. Come on. <laughs> stop. Stop being fidgety. I need you to get over here. Eh, I'll drag you. Uh, there there we go. All right, cool. Let's summon him. Let's summon the one true egg monster. Here we go. All right, there he is. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. It's a glitchy glory. And, of course, we're going to see her in action. Hopefully properly with this. Yeah, so there we go. We finally actually have her being scared properly. So it's no longer this whole, oh, she's holding Lucy like Scooby-Doo going on here. So, you know. That's good. Good to see that uh, she's working just fine. And I'm glad to know that these little eggies, like the little eggy eggnogs, you know, eggberts, whatever you like to call them, you know, because um, ba Vampire loves them as well. But, uh, oh, okay, what a cool moonwalk there you got going on there, Lizzie. I didn't know you were special in that kind of sense. But yeah, no, I love this character because how long it takes him to do this has enough time for him to kind of be able to keep on scaring this character. So that's great. So it's not like the other monsters that will scare for like a few, like has like a less than a second cooldown time and then immediately goes to the next victim that's close by. The squeezers, they, and not the squeezers, I'm sorry. How rude of me. The egg monsters. Even that seems offensive. So the egg monsters, they actually, um, they take like a few seconds in order to cool down. So, like, when they do their scares. So that gives them an ample time if you click on the character to kind of keep on farming them, if that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, by the way, Chiller, 
I guess, you know what? You could laugh maniacally. Uh, Horrorland ticker. You know, you know, you did your success, but you need to, yeah, do your kill dance. There you go. You, you filmed your commercial successfully, so now you get to dance, dance the night away. Yeah, that's fun, but uh, I need you to stop now because I need you for a second. I'll let you play with your horror action figures later, right? But uh, th there's a reason I need you, and that's because I want to summon all the monsters. All the Halloween monsters, as it were, because it's Halloween time here again. So, let's go ahead and do that. So first things first, let's do the Horrorland one, or the Haunted Halloween, I should say. Haunted Halloween, yes. Um, we're excluding the Headless Horseman because apparently he became that be afraid thing. So instead... Uh, game, please. Why you do this to me, game? Can I not have fun? Thank you. So let's summon the monsters. So there's them. Again, if you want, if you want an in-depth view of these monsters in action with scaring people... Oh, God! Game, please. I want to click on the scary, the scary faces. If you want these things in action, go to their respective playlists to see them in action themselves. But, you know, we're just going to do this right here. I love the fact what I did here that makes it look like... You know what we're missing? We're missing... We need, we need, we need this to, like, for Halloween decoration, just have it, like, be a spirit Halloween or something. <laughs> like, a store that went out of business, and it's like, oh, yeah, spirit Halloween, spooky decorations out and about, you know, the inflatables and, you know, whatnot. I feel like that's, that's the appropriate thing when it comes to Fred's Pharmacy, that's why I kind of look at it as. And, of course, Susie's marrying away, jumping up and down. So we got that monsters going on here. We forget, let's not forget about the gummy bears. Oh, hell yeah. Oh man, the gummy bears. They were like the main feature, the main monster that, in the movie. You know, in fact, so much so that they made that the currency in the, in the, in the game, right? Remember these little things? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you know, you know, right? So we got that. Oh, the monsters are done, or some of them anyways, but we're not done yet because now we need to go to season two. Let's bring back Chiller's house. Yeah, Chiller's house. This was when last. This was when Horrorland came first time, kinda. So let's summon the horrors. That's right. Let's summon the horrors. Let's the horrors go out to play. That's right. Swipe and dice. Spooky, spooky, boogity. All these characters. Right. So we got that going on here. Let's click on some of these animatronics. Or not anim. I call them animatronics, but really they're just you know. They're the, the, the things, right? The things, the things, right? You, you understand. But uh, anyways, let's summon uh, Curly's uh, sisters. Let's do Skelly. There we go. She summons there. There she does that. Let's summon Nightshade. And then let's do, which one is this? Boo? Yeah, no, that, well, that was Boo. That was Boo. I was right. Okay, Boo. And then Boo. Yes. So the sisters, the sisters are out as well. Right, to spook the, to show the monsters who are the true scary masters, right? To spook them. So all the Halloween first ones are done. So, the sisters are doing it. But, you know what, we shouldn't let them be alone. We should have their little brother and the school, the scare master teacher, Lillian, do it as well. So let's just, let's just summon them out. There he goes. I'm surprised there is no scare reach a scarometer thing, so I'm kind of happy that's not a thing anymore. <laughs> oh, no, I say that and I immediately regret it because it's like, ah, oh, gotta do it now. Because Grim mentioned it, we forgot. Oh, right, good idea, Grim. Oh, right, I forgot. You have this one, one measly dollar to summon Lillian. God. So there they are. And her floating head, gar you know, gorgon heads for some reason. So, yeah. The spooky boy, and then all this glory. And he fails miserably, which is great. But then, of course, let's do last year's, which is this here. And I forgot that some of the characters are doing stuff right now. Isn't that right? Yes. I, I forgot. And I just summoned Dustin to do the thing again, didn't I? 
I did. I did indeed. So I don't know how much I'm going to be set back at now because I, I had this idea planned and then immediately forgot about it. And now I'm regretting it. Oh dear. Oh, this scares more. All right. Can we can we stop some of the screams because, you know, the horrors are doing their stuff. They're done. And then the sisters are done. Oh, yeah. So let's just do that. So there we go. Oh, I forgot the fully available madman. My bad. Here I was just nearing my own time, and I forgot about that, so... Yeah, okay, cool. There, all done. So, um, let's just go back to here, to Dustin. Oh, 37. All right, fine. Cool. I regret that many... I, I do indeed regret that so much. You have no idea. God. All right, so let's just go back... Let's let's summon the monsters from last year's. They're gonna eat the special tainted candy. Oh my god, look at the horrors. Look at the scares. They're all over the place here. Well some characters are scared, but everyone else isn't really. So yeah, anyways, I need to load this area in. I don't think Lillian no. Did Lillian get I think she gets scared, but she just runs away, I think. So I don't think there's a scare animation for her. Right, so now, yeah, all right, here we go. Now let's summon everybody. All right, let's summon the monsters from last year. There you go. And uh, the growth spurt of, um, you know, Marty is just hilarious. Yeah, but I love this. You know, we get to see the kids as monsters, which is great. Actually, I just realized, where's, where's, where's the ogre? Where did she go? Did she disappear? She did, didn't she? Oh god, clown music. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Yeah, where? Did, why did you go off from the distance from everyone else? Yeah, look at you. Look at all your glory. Yeah, there you go. Spooky. I love that everybody is just monstrified. I especially love Fluffy Boy over there. Scaring... Oh, I was about to say he was scaring Marty when I'm like, Oh wait, no, Marty's a monster too. I forgot. Yeah, so... Again, last year's Halloween was great. It's just a shame that it wasn't really advertised that well. Hence, I think that's why I kind of had that, you know, half half a year hiatus again. That we thought the game died. But then, fortunately for us, another game died to take its place. Because they're like, wait a minute, we have a good property here. Why don't we just do something about it, right? Yeah, of course. No offense to Match Island, but... You know, not a lot of people cared for that. Not, unlike this game. Like, look how many views are on this game, right? A lot. Lots and lots of views. Right. So, that's it. That's the run miss of all the Halloween people that we had back in the past. Oh, wait, wait. No, no, no. We're not done yet. We need to do the last this year's. The fifth, anniver the fifth anniversary of Halloween. That's right. We need to summon the monsters. The mutant monsters. From the animal cage. Can we do that, please? Can we... Can we do that, please? Hmm? Can we load? Can, yeah? Come on. You can do it. There you go. Let's summon the monsters again. There we go. Gives us the mementos that we need. Alright, there you go. Yeah, look at them. My god, I'm happy that they're fixed now. A lot of things are fixed. So see, the things are... The things can get fixed, so don't worry about that. Yeah, I love that. I love that they decided to give these these no-name monsters some love. Despite the fact that they don't really have any dialogue or whatnot, but that's okay. They don't really need to talk. They're just there. It's fun that uh, they have them up and about. I don't know why they have mo pets monsters. I mean, I mean, they had a pet my werewolf of, of part of the th the thing, so, you know. Makes you wonder, did they ma mutate these things themselves? Oh, no. He's just gonna get spook. Oh my god, he he avoid. Oh no, no, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say he, he avoided the scares, but nope. Now he now he's scared. Okay, yeah, that's that's what I thought. I was like, oh, Mr. Mortman, you're sick. Oh no, no, you're not. <laughs> uh, poor Mr. Mortman. He was once saved, but not anymore. Yeah, so I don't really need you anymore. So yeah, cool. So that's that's all the Halloween uh, scenes all together, summoned and all, and having fun and whatever you you call all this. So yeah, there you go. How much do I got? 
Oh, I still need the treats and whatnot, so... Mm. Yeah. Fun indeed, I guess. But, um... Makes you think. Cool. So... Yeah, that's... That's basically it. So... Yeah. There's not really stuff when it comes to them trick-or-treating. Which, I know, they used to do that, but... You know. Come on. Horrorland. Can't, you cannot say no to Horrorland. That's that's a, that's a given. So let's see this. Well, we can do the ah, uh, not again thing. So let's Scooby-Doo it again. Despite, you know, I needing more of the plush. But don't worry, I'm going to get that just fine. So. All right. So that's it for now, I guess. And uh, I think Slappy actually gives me the spooky as they do. Okay, cool. So, yeah, don't worry. Uh, things are gonna be coming just fine. So, yeah. This was a nice long clip, and, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this as much as I did. And we're getting close to the end, and, uh, I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing besides, you know, doing this and seeing how long that takes. But, um, I guess I'll come back when something fun happens, so be a lookout for that. So, it turns out they, uh, fixed the bug. You might see saying, what... What, what are we doing this again? Well, uh, the, the reason why this, this doesn't count anymore is because they fixed this. So now, when you put this down, it will recognize it as, ah, you got the thing now, right? So, if I click on certain characters, like, again, it sucks that I have to do this again. But, hey, it works now because, you know, they had to reset everything because the game... You know, glitched again, because oh, I feel bad for them. They just can't win, can they? Anyways, um, if we need a Dustin. I think he's one that actually does something for me. Well, actually, unless I'm using him for something else, I don't think I am. Let's see. Let's just see here. If I can load in, maybe. I don't know. No, he's not doing anything. What do they have him doing? Unless it was reset everything. Like, let me just see this. Hold on. I guess I didn't have him... Oh, great. I didn't have him do whatever. That's great. Well, that sucks for me, I guess. But, uh, oh well. I will, uh get stuff going, I guess, and I have to keep on, like, you know, we have still have some weeks to go, and the specials are coming in, so, you know, need to get supplies for that. Yeah, I had Lucy do this, or, you know, I had them do this. Oh, good, now this is broken. Good, that, now that's broken. <laughs> Good, they fixed one thing and glitched another. Oh boy. Now, now, now this is just... <laughs> it, it never ends. It never ends. Come on, please. Come on. Oh, come on. You were doing so well. Oh man, that's... Uh... So, I heard somebody was having complaints of getting them out, but now it's like, literally, that's what's happening. Oh, okay, now it works. Oh, God, this is so... Now I'm scared. I don't want to do them anymore. <laughs> I'm scared because if I do it again, they might, uh, you know, the glitched out like it did before. So instead, for now, I'll just get you to do caramel heads because I don't know. So you're doing something. Because, um... That, that, that was something indeed. Alright, so, I should hopefully get this done pretty much well, and when I do get it, I can, uh, you know, place it down, and it should hopefully complete it, and I should see a check mark with this, and then all I need to do is get the, these stuff here, which I'll make sure to avoid, at least I'm going to do the, 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 the costume thing, probably last, because everything else looks easy, like the, the treats are easy to get. But the mementos, I think I'll get that last because I want to make sure um, when I do get it, you know, it, you know, I just could click on more um, the 
Chiller's uh, statue and uh, everything will be hunky-dory. So that's that's the plan anyways. So there we go. I think the reason why I didn't wanted to do anything at the time, and this might just be me, but I believe it has something to do with the fact that uh, for some reason, I think, and this is just my theory, I think it glitched out because it, uh, the thing wasn't loaded in properly, so I couldn't get access to it until, I keep on clicking it because, uh, because it wasn't loaded in properly, so it doesn't exist it, it's only when it's finally done is when it's like, ah, now you can click it. So I had to wait until the building came in. So, yeah, it's like trying to click on a building that doesn't exist. It's weird, this game. It's so wonky. It's been here for five years almost, so... Yeah, spaghetti code galore. But, yeah, you know, that's an update what's going on right now. So that's cool. So, after we click on her, and uh, we're going to have her do it again just because, you know, it is what I want to do. But if we look, hey, look, we got everything. But we're not going to click it just yet because I know for a fact that it's not working. So I want to make sure I get this and this out of the way. Before I click on this. Make sense? Yeah, see me smart. So, I'm going to do that instead. So, I'll come back once this is done. Or when the new request pops in. Which might be a possibility. So, be on the lookout for that. Hmm. 25 days. 10 hours left. But, that's not the only reason I'm just talking about this. The going here and going like, ah, oh, another day here. <laughs> now, turns out there's another request available for five days. And this one's unique because... Happy Tooth Game. <laughs> just like in the book for the second one. Oh, wow. I just need to get more of these. So, you know your boy is going to get that just fine. Just fine and dandy indeed. And if you're curious right now, this is where I'm at. So I should probably get everything just fine. So by the time I come back, I should get everything here. And then it's, I guess it's just going to be just looking at this, whatever comes in. So the trick or horror stuff should be fun. All right. Well, that's it for now. So stay tuned for that. All right, we're taking a detour real quick to come back to home base because it's all spooktified. But you might be wondering why, why are we going back here? Well, allow me to show you why. Because you're not going to believe this. Oh my god! Is that what I think it is? Yes! Goosebumps! Oh, they remembered! It's the 30th anniversary! Oh, look at that. Look, it's all the dummies. And there's R.L. Stein himself. And Slappy. Oh, oh, this is so good. You know, we've got, we've got so much here. Oh, I want to show you this. Look, they recovered the say cheese and die. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> and then they got little little knickknacks over here. And, you know, just, just a bunch of stuff as said and more. You could even go as far as to, you know, make your own cover if you really want to. But, uh, you know. It's funny that they finally decided to give Spooktified and everything here. Oh yeah, and you can you can get yourself uh, a new costume if if you're here. Basically, like uh, how do I dress myself? My God, it's been too long. <laughs> can you tell? I'm not even in the right account. I don't even. I forgot my other account. Yeah. So look, there you go. I'm in. Th why why didn't that save? Oh my god, this this game. <laughs> can I can you save? Yes. Save. Good. There we go. There we go. Look, now I'm now I'm with my shirt. And you know, you can talk to R.L. Stein himself. Hello, I'm R.L. Stein. We're celebrating the 30th anniversary of my Goosebump series this year. Can you guess how many Goosebump books there are? Yes, a lot. Also, I just see the haunted mask and there's a gnome and a bunch. You know, it's like, who are you? I'm Stein, author of the Goosebumps series. It's been around 30 years. Can you believe it? I wasn't sure a scary series for kids would work when I first started writing them. I thought I'd do old two or three. Now here we are, 30 years later. I know, I'm old. What's Lappy Beware about? 
Slappy Rev, an untold story of crow, a crown puppet of horror. It's all about the absolute worst day in Slappy's life. You get to learn all about where Slappy came from, his history. You also learn why he had to do one evil act a day and what happened to the if he fails. And uh, yeah, a uh, bunch of convoluted stuff. Uh, we rewritten the past. <laughs> Everything's forgotten. Uh, this is the new lore, and um, it, it's it's dumb. But you know, what makes Slappy? Uh, so cool, and it's a harsh special edition cover for the first time ever. There are illustrations inside. Yes, illustrations, by the way, colored. If you buy it digitally, if you buy it hardcover, um, like actual physical copy, black and white for you, my friend. Screw you with color. Good to get inspiration to Slappy. When I was a kid, I loved puppets and dummies. I used to put it on puppet shows, and I loved the story of Pinocchio. Some of that ended up in Slappy character. I don't get why people think dummies are scary, but they do. Alright, that's cool. Uh, what got you started writing horror books? I wanted to scare kids. Just kidding. I wanted to create something funny and scary. Yeah. The first Goosebump books I wrote was Welcome to Dead House. It came out July 1992. 30 years ago. I know. I think I was too scary compared to the later Goosebump books. The second Goosebump book I wrote, Stay Out of the Basement, was much more humorous. Uh, yeah, I already did that. I love the haunted mask. Isn't the mask creepy? I also love brain juice. Have you read it? That's interesting. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so goodbye. So then you go talk to Slappy, right? As a curiosity. It's like, you want to be friends? I promise you'll have the real scream of a time, right? And you be asking him, what's happening? And he's like, oh... Yeah, uh, you know, Slappy dropped dead house. It's like, what are you talking about, Slappy? You're not in front of your stupid thing, right? So it's the same thing as before, except there's now new dialogue here, which is why does R.L. Stein like writing uh, writing about you so much? So this is what happens. You have to ask him that because you're so modest, Slappy. You heard it here first: modest, handsome, and total to scream. A lot of people have questions about you. They're dying for you to answer. Literally dying, I hope. Tell them about our interview with Slappy Beware, or you know what's better? Don't. Ah. <laughs> oh, and there he's laughing again. See, so that's that's basically it for the update here. So they finally, Scholastic... I bumped into the thing by accident. But uh, as I was saying... Oh yeah, and then there's bees for some reason. Spooky bees! I guess, you know, because why I'm afraid of bees or something. I don't know why bees are here. That's weird. I guess it's why I'm afraid of bees. That's my guess. But, yeah. Finally. Like, it shows Scholastics finally cares about the property, huh? Even so much so that they brought him back in front. And they finally updated the book. No longer it's Monster Blood for breakfast. God. How long has this been? For a year? <laughs> it's been a year or so? Finally you started to give a care? I digress. Anyways, back to the main video of whatever fun things is happening. I just wanted to take this time to kind of run the mist that. Man, just think, it's almost been a week since we started this. Um, glitchy, glitchy week, but a uh, week nonetheless. But once we click on the monsters that's been doing that stuff, that would mark the last of traumatic Mento costumes that we need. But before we do our main thing that we're supposed to, I hold off on. Let me grab that. Let me go over to a spot in horror. Oh, I might as well click on some of the characters while I'm at it. Let's go down to horror land. My, my makeshift horror land or whatever you call it. And there you go. We got all this stuff here. So let's just go ahead and put this down. And uh, yeah. So this was like from the actual book itself which is funny yeah happy tooth game and what oh it drops us some scares that's kind of cool so yeah if i remember this scene correctly it was supposed to be like this dentist where it's just like oh we're gonna just drill your teeth and we're gonna remove it and all that type of stuff and then they realized oh wait the people who are doing it are robots so then they shot all the robots i don't know it's weird weird uh weird park let's put it that way Anyways, now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and place this down. So we have 12 of the Horland plushies, 15 of this, 16 of that, and 54 
the monster blow up. So definitely all the stuff we need. And uh, we need to make this go a bit better, in my opinion, with some of the stuff here. Though we could probably, yeah, I'll, I'll fix and then move everything around. But uh, for now, let's just put it here. There we go. And some spooky treats for everyone. There you go. Goss, we got such amazing material for the ad. People are going to love it. I'll be selling tickets by the crate. Can't believe you people made me go through all that just to make a TV commercial. Oh, don't be such a baby about it. I'm giving you stuff for free. Oh, no. Calm down, little girl. Chiller's got something that'll help you chill. A freeze ray gun. Psh. <laughs> just like uh, Mr. Freeze. Stay cool. Here, take a golden ticket. It allows you three free entries to Horland. How about that, huh? Wow, a golden ticket. That's amazing. And you know what? I think I know where you can get more golden tickets. Why would I ever want to come back to Horland? Why wouldn't you? Stop being a frumpy face. And that's the end. What a weird way to end it. <laughs> you would think Aunt Curly would be the one to kind of conclude it, but no, not this time. It's just, uh, it's just the way it is. But yeah, you want more? You want free tick golden tickets? All right, here you go. Here's some free tickets to Horrorland. Get spooked by the horrors. Here you go. Spooky oogity boogity. But um, yeah, what a way to end it. So you know. That, that whole thing was basically from the park. And you might be thinking, and I know what you're thinking. You're like, wait, so why didn't they use somebody like R.P. Faraday to make the commercial? Because, you know, he's a film guy, right? And it's like, yeah, true. But the thing is, people already know who R.P. Faraday is. So, you know, they would pretty much know something would be up with them, right? So having the strange, I guess illusion right that's the whole point so that that was the whole thing now i don't know why exactly to decide to bring back um lizzie for this unless it's like you know oh it's so scary that even people who were here before were terrified now come to Horland, where monsters come to life <laughs> uh god i gotta love chiller it's glad to see him come back again and some love artwork, though, from uh, Playboy Vampire giving him some love. So, that's cool. That, and he also has his little horror OC, too. So, that's fun. But, yeah, Horrorland. Man, what a great Halloween thing to kind of have this come back. So, yeah, some cool things indeed. But, there's the uh, graveyard gift shop. So, you know, it does some stuff. Mind you, maybe not the greatest of stuff, but it does something. So, I'll give it that. But yeah, uh, so there will be more stuff popping in, which I'll probably get because I'm that kind of guy. You know, because there's nothing else to do. And um, we'll just count down until near the end, like usual. And uh, I'm going to hold off what I think of this event and my whole review thing for the review portion coming up um, in the next part. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk the good, the bads, and all that type of stuff and more. And then, of course, whatever's coming in the future, for the next update, I'm going to do the introduction and then kind of like what I've been doing for this one. So, you know, it's it's going to be an interesting thing. Now, as far as the new music goes, I'm not 100% sure. This one's kind of loud. I'll give it that. Um, it probably go back to normal because I don't think this up, uh, like, well, okay, I'll hold again. <sighs> I'll hold everything off until we get there. So, you know, zip, zip it for now. So, yeah, that's it for now. So I'll come back when some fun stuff happens or something. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that. <laughs> Sorry, it's my bedtime. Fun way to go to bed with this stuff, huh? Horland. Yeah. I'm going to be careful with these clips so that way they're um, a little bit short because, you know, 
gonna survive this as long as I can to make a part three because it's ooh, already extend. But I just want to say, as of right now, happy Halloween. Um, it is Halloween, and uh, yeah, got a whole lot of November to hit, and um, yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen, but uh, I'll clue in when it gets there. Well, Halloween is done, and now we're on the Day of the Dead, and a new request has been submitted. This time, get yourself a not a camera bush. And uh, it's actually requiring not a whole lot of stuff, so I'm going to try to do that right now while I think about it. So let me go ahead. It seems like these are getting pretty easy to get, so it's not too bad as far as, you know, getting things going. So yeah, I should probably get this within the time limit, and uh, I shall return when I do, because I need me another bush, because why not? Why not another bush? It's the only thing I got going on right now anyways, so might as well. But this cockroach. Yes. I got the not a camera bush. But let's go over to my makeshift horror land. And uh oh yeah, by the way. Gotta love the chiller statue that you got going on there, it's kinda cool. I'm probably gonna try to move stuff around during the weekends when I have free time. Because as of right now, you know, busy with other stuff. So there you go. There's our stuff. Cool beans. Cool beans. Keeping up to see where the next thing is going to come up is... We shall she. Indeed. 15 days left and then, uh, you know, this event will be done. Um, I got some news about what will be coming up next, and I'll be doing that in the uh, introduction to the, uh, Event 28, so that would be interesting. Also, I'm whispering because uh, I got the dreaded disease that shall not be named, so that sucks. Whispering so I don't irritate my voice, so I don't cough. So yeah, big suck for me. Uh, two more weeks, 13 days now, but we have something new, which is this, Horland Scream Demon, and uh, I guess it's supposed to be like an ice cream, or I don't know exactly, but as you can see I have everything there, so why not put it down, right? <sighs> I'll be honest. <laughs> Being sick kind of makes me not even want to play, but I record because, you know, I like you guys. <laughs> Alright, so there it is. So that's what it looks like. So it gives it five, so not too bad. I'm, I'm liking the fact that they got some decorations here uh, exclusive for this, you know, kind of like special prizes to kind of keep you busy. So, with that in mind, I guess I'll be returning back, um, what was it? I guess it would be Thursday, Friday, I guess, if there's a new one coming in. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Anyways, I'm just gonna try to rest some more. Also, I realized there's a camera on the tooth game. Well, we have one more week left, roughly. Seven days, seven hours, like eight hours, basically, left. And if you're curious, ah, look at that. There's one more thing to get. And it's just money. Oh, good. Look what I need. I need a stupid ectoplasm. Ah, uh, do I really need to? You know what? Fine, I'll do it. It's not like this video is long enough anyways. So let's just have this, this, let's have them have their little fun, scaring everybody around, right? Showing them their little zombie moves, showing them the, the thriller, right? That guy's just dancing around just like back in the, what was it, two years, three years ago with um, the uh, Valentine Night Fever, got the big boy, and then we got a lot of this other stuff here too. And yeah, by the way, this isn't even guaranteed that I'm going to get this. You know, wasting money just to get money. Or potential to get something. So, if I get it, that'll be great. 
but uh, I doubt it. But uh, yeah, if I can get it, then that's great. Then, uh, then uh, you know, that will be something. But let's see this. Did I get it? No. No, I don't. I could get it for 31, but that's that will defeat the purpose. So, you know what? If I get it during my off time, then that's great. If not, then whatever. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll come back once the event ends. Or, unless I get this. Maybe. So, second time doing this, I got the blob. So, thank you. 20, what, probably 19-something profit? Let's see. 18, $16 profit. So, that's, uh, well worth it. I guess I'll see you in a few days, once this event ends. Ah, very sad. Oh man, two more days, or I guess three days or so. Uh, we're almost getting close to Sunday, and that's when we do the thing. So yeah, 12 p.m., we're almost a day and a half left, and uh, coming close to Sunday... Okay, we're only like six hours into this. I wanted to show something. I wanted to look at um, these guys again, and uh, they changed it again. Now they drop gummy bears. Gummy bears! I guess to make sense with candies and, you know, stuff like that. Why not just keep it to the books? That, that was fine. I mean, like, if you go to the squeezers, they drop the eggs. Like, and, and they don't give you anything in the shop, so... You know, just saying. <sighs> whatever. You know, it's it's whatever. It, this game is forever changing. I'll see you in a minute. i see you in 12 hours. Looks like we're in down to the few minutes left before this event is fully gone. You know how it usually is by now. Let's go ahead and summon our monsters for the last time. Now, they might be able to be summoned again, because that's what happened with the last one, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Let's just be, make sure we're safer than sorry. So there they go. They're working better this time. And it's a shame, because I haven't used these as much as I should have, but, um, yeah. It's nice to see the, the mutant monsters up and about just kind of showing off and saying hi. Yeah. So then, you know, you get a whole bunch of them. It's kind of interesting to watch, especially like seeing the, the snakes moving and then the, you know, this vulture stuff. Like, it's, it's freaking, I love how it freaks out with the scare animation. It's like, well, we need to make it scary, so just make it move its arms around or something. <laughs> It only looks wonky in the back end. The front end seems fine. I don't know what's going on there. It might be something to do with... Like, I'm curious on how these animation stuff works because they're supposed to be like little wood rigs, like little puppets, in a sense. So, I'm wondering if there's something wonky when it comes to the coding. I mean, that's probably what happened the last time, right? That would make sense why it was so wonky before. Oh, by the way, where's Grandma? Oh, there you are. Also, I did mention this. Ignore the fact that the room sounds a little bit more echoey. I'm just in another location at the moment because, unfortunately, I'm not in a place that I want to be. So, yeah, that's about it. I mean, we could summon them again, but uh, not really. So, I'll try to see if I can't move to a new location during this time. So... Let's just have this countdown and uh, let's uh, let's end this, shall we? All right, we're down to the few seconds left, and uh, after that, this will be it. Unfortunately, I have recorded both the other ends, so we get to see exactly what happens once this is done. So, four, three, two, one, and there we go. We're done. We won the seasonal event. There it is. We've completed it. Now, what happens if you were to lose? Well, it seems like you did not achieve it, but you can get it for 120. And just out of curiosity, yes you can. So at least we found out that you can do that, so... 
That's interesting. Again, sorry about the, uh, disappearing there. I, uh, you know, different things have been going on. Right, so now that we got that done, let's go ahead and, uh, say goodbye to Lizzie. Yep, we got that stuff there. Mm-hmm. And we can't do that anymore, so... There we go. And that's it. The event is now done. And Lizzie is stuck over here because uh, the road's not connected to anything else, so she's just going to be moving back and forth in this area. This is convenient because then we can live to see this. We can say, you know, the end. As wonky as that is, but, you know, it, it works for what it was supposed to do. And to be frank... <laughs> Um, you know, this, this whole event thing seems to be interesting. I'm kind of curious because I'm hoping the next update we come back, it will be snowy. So although it's nice to see the Halloween decorations again, it'd be nice to see the winter stuff come back, namely snow. So yeah. Okay, cool. So this doesn't work, which is that's what it's supposed to do. And show does the spawn. Good. All right, so it's so it actually is working properly. Right. Well, I guess that's it for Horrorland. So that was an interesting uh, little predicament, and quite honestly, yeah, that's this an interesting way to end this stuff series. So, with Lizzie walking about here, this was Horrorland, and. Uh, Quite interesting to have this come back, but, um, you know, it's what it is. Anywho, I think I'll end it here, and I will see you guys, um, whenever it comes next for Horror Town. So yeah, here's the end credit thing. I guess this is a great way to end this video, with the event ends and done. <laughs> ah, good old days. Can't wait for the next update. Well, see you soon. And that, ladies and gentlemen, ends Return to Horrorland. And by God, uh, this was a fun little update indeed for Halloween. And uh, I, I, thank God they brought Chiller back and they did consider a continuity when it comes to the golden tickets and everything like that. I thought, you know, as short as it was, it was a nice little end and it kind of wrapped everything up in a nice little bow. And it followed the story as well, in a sense. So, I did like how they did everything. Uh, mind you, I won't go too depth with my thoughts and feelings as far as review goes. I will leave that to my review, which I'll be posting alongside this. So, this should be the next video coming up. But, um, and, and the playlist, I mean. But, uh, yeah, I think that will end it here. So, I wonder what will be coming up next. Um, the winter winter is coming soon, so maybe something to do with that. In any case, be on the lookout for my next video talking about what's to be expected, so that should be fun. And uh, hoping things come soon. And this is the beginning of a new a new beginning. So 2022, hopefully 2023 will be even better. So yeah, small, but uh, it's better than that. Anyways, I've been Grim, and I'll be seeing you next time for whatever Horror Town has in store for us. Until then, I hope you enjoyed your Halloween. Uh, hope you enjoyed coming back to Horror Land. Tell me down below what you thought of Horror Land. Would you ever want to go to a place like that in real life? I wouldn't.